So as you can see, the C8 is fully packed and you know, there is quite a bit of luggage in the rear and in the front. And that's actually pretty impressive, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Brink of Speed. Today we are going to discuss what you can truly fit in the new 2020 C8 Stingray. But before we uh, start with that, I want to talk about this filter. Uh, this is the Attack Blue TKO Performance Filter for a C7 Corvette. And I wanna let everybody know that the drawing is still going. However, because of the pandemic that we're facing right now, I don't want to touch that, you know, ship it, have the shippers touch it and get it to you um, and there'll be a problem. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put that on hold as far as picking a winner. And for now, you guys can just keep sending me your email. Uh, you know, uh, I want the filter, subscribe below, put a comment below, I want the filter and we'll just get more people on the list. Right now we have about 44 people on the list uh, that are signed up. And so uh, that's the update with the filter. I will keep you posted as far as everything goes with the filter uh, moving forward. Back to the beautiful white C8. And look at this interior. I absolutely love that interior. Uh, anyway, we're going to see exactly what fits. As you can see, I got golf clubs. I got a bag there. I got some bags over here. And I've got some bags up here. So we are going to find out what fits in the front, what fits in the trunk. And if GM was being truthful with us, about how much luggage this thing could fit. Now I know that GM has their own Chevy luggage that you can buy from them and you can probably fit quite a bit of their uh, brand of luggage in the C8, but that's not very practical. People like me, people like you are probably just gonna try and use the luggage that you currently have to throw it in there and run down the road on a trip. So as soon as this whole pandemic is over, uh, Amber and I are planning on taking a trip and I wanna show you exactly what we're gonna be able to get in this beautiful C8. So I'm gonna put on a point of view camera right up here and show you from my point of view how to pack the C8 Corvette. All right, folks, so we're gonna start back here and we're gonna do a non-golfer and then a golfer. So the first thing that I'm gonna pack is this um, large, uh, this is a hanging clothes bag that you can fit quite a bit of stuff in besides your hanging clothes. And this is gonna fit right in here. You're gonna have to go upside down though with it so that it slides in there nicely. Um, that's the first item that I can get in here. And then we're gonna take a backpack and this will only be able to be full with clothes, as you can see here. It's an Adidas backpack. So we're gonna stuff that down in there nicely. So as you can see, that fits. And then we're gonna take this Nike bag and this has clothes in it. And we're gonna start shoving this down in. And it's gonna be pretty compact in there, but it's gonna fit. So we have three pretty good sized bags, clothes, 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 all in the trunk. Now let's see how it shuts. So it's a little bit of a tight squeeze, but as you can see, it does close, it seals up. So um, it should be good to go as far as that goes. Now let's come up here to the front. Let's come up here to the front and we're gonna open that up all the way and start with this bag here. And this is gonna go straight down in. So that's in there nice. 
And then we're gonna take this bag and put it in like so. Push it all the way over to the... Yep, making it happen. <laughs> And then this is gonna be like a toiletry bag that we can fit in there like so. And so you see we've got toiletries, um, you know, whatever uh, my wife wants in there, makeup, extra toiletries, and then more clothes in that bag. And let's see how this shuts. Pretty easy. There's the second clip. So as you can see, the C8 is fully packed and you know, there is quite a bit of luggage in the rear and in the front. And that's actually pretty impressive, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know if you're impressed with that, but I'm impressed with that. Now you can't have anything fun really going with you. Uh, the golf clubs aren't gonna fit, obviously, with all that stuff in there. Um, they're, they're not gonna fit up front, period. But as you can see, we could be gone for probably two weeks with everything that's in both sides there, or in the front and the back. So very, very nice that we can get all that in there. Now, we're going to change things up a little bit and we're gonna say, hey, if you're a golfer and you're wanting to go on a long trip and take your golf clubs, um, say like your wife is a golfer and you both wanna take your golf clubs, we're gonna show you how you can't take but one set of golf clubs. So I'm not sure what GM was thinking when they said you could put two sets of golf clubs back there, but you absolutely can't. The only way that I could see fit doing that is maybe if you bought some really small old fashioned golf bags um, and then you may be able to do it. But with today's golf bags being, you know, pretty bulky for, you know, all your shoes and your balls and gloves and everything that you carry in there, uh, it ain't gonna happen. As you can see here, I have a pretty typical golf bag and it's got everything on it. My shoes are in each side. The balls are down here. And you know, I've got a few things in here, but it's a pretty typical golf bag. And we're going to show you what that looks like in the trunk. We're gonna leave everything that's in the front in the front, and we're gonna switch out some things in the trunk. So let's get started. Okay, first thing is first, let's open her back up. There we go. And we'll go ahead and take out the backpack. Set that over there. Take out the hanging clothes bag, set that there, and take out the Nike bag and set this over here. And then we're gonna grab these golf clubs. And we're gonna throw them in. And as you can see, they are shoved as far as they can go right here. And they're still taking up all of this space here. And then this is as far as um, it comes up here, but it is going to shut. We're, we'll just show you it'll shut pretty easily with one bag. And let's open it back up. Now, we're gonna try and put this small suitcase in and show you that that is going to be impossible. There's no way that's going in there. Also, as you can see, there's no way another golf bag is gonna go in here. This only has a little bit of space, you know, about that far once you shut it. And then there's no space here at all and no space here. So what we can get in here is the bigger of the two bags as far as the backpack and the Nike bag. We're gonna put the Nike bag in here. Kind of shove it down in there. Remember this thing only has clothes in it. Um, and then 
I'm gonna show you, this can't even fit. I mean, if it just had clothes, we may be able to get away with it. Let's see what happens. Yeah, so we can get away with that. As you can see, it's shut and sealed nicely. Um, so basically, you're not gonna get that in the car, period, unless you put it up front to replace the blue one. But the blue one is bigger than the purple one. You're not gonna get that in there. And by the way, you're never gonna get this in either space. I have this out here just to show you that this giant bag here, it's not gonna fit in there and it's not gonna fit in there and I'll show you that here in a second. So as you guys can see, that's actually not bad either. You've got a Nike bag full of clothes, a backpack full of clothes, your golf club. So you got plenty of clothes right there. This would be, you know, my stuff. Um, and then maybe some toiletries in there. And then up front, you have the same situation that you had before, which is, you know, Amber's toiletries, some of mine, her makeup stuff, plus some clothes, maybe some shoes, and then nothing but clothes in the blue bag. So for a long trip uh, where I wanted to play golf, this would work. And that's the optimal situation that I can find with my own luggage. I think you would agree that that's a pretty darn good situation. However, again, I don't understand why GM came out and said that you could fit two sets of golf clothes back there because again, it's not gonna happen. It's just not. If you have been able to do it in your C8 Corvette, send me a little uh, video on my BOS 2020C8 at gmail.com email, um, or you could send me some pictures of two golf club, two sets of clubs sitting in there. But leave me a comment, let me know if you've made it work. I don't think anybody has been able to make that work yet, but we'll see. So I am now gonna get everything out of here and I'm gonna show you that the big bag is not gonna work, period. So we'll grab the big bag right now. Keep in mind, this thing is empty. And it's still not gonna work. So that's as far as it goes in. There's no other way to push this down. I mean, I could tilt it a little bit, but it's got a pretty um, firm frame. And so it's not gonna push down any further than that. And you will see that that's as far as that thing is gonna shut. There's no getting that down any further. And obviously it's not gonna fit in the front, which I'll show you. So let's get everything out of here. See, it's not gonna fit. Even if we put it in like this, <laughs> that's as far as it's gonna go and that's as far as you're gonna shut the, the front. So no big size suitcases in this car, period. They are not going to fit. So there's all the, the uh, suitcases and luggage that I brought out to show you. I hope you guys enjoyed that thumbnail with my wife, Amber holding the giant suitcase like she was really going to be able to get that in there. I mean, she can't even fit in there. I can't fit in there. A little kid might be able to fit in there, but that's it. You're definitely not going to get anything in here with you. You could maybe hold something in your lap as a passenger, but how fun would that be? That would just be awful. So nobody's going to want to hold anything in their lap. Um, that's just not the way that we would like to, you know, ride uh, in this C8 Corvette and be comfortable. But other than that, you can see that this will fit a lot of luggage in the front and the back. And you can cruise on down the road as far as you wanna go, not have to worry about anything, get to your destination and have everything that you need. Um, so that's really gonna do it. I hope you enjoyed the video. 
I wish I had better news for you about the air filter. I want to get that thing out to you as soon as possible. But again, I don't want to put anybody in danger. I hope you understand. Uh, again, leave me a comment below if you have done this exercise and tried packing your frunk and your trunk in your C8. And give me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Also, if you have not joined this wonderful Brink of Speed community, make sure you smash that red subscribe and bell notification so that you're notified when my new content comes out. I hope each and every one of you are staying safe and keeping away from the pandemic. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of your week. And I will see you out on the road.